So welcome back to another Miley Rebuild here on NBA 2K20. In today's video, we are going to be doing a series that I did a lot on 2K19, basically bringing back one legend from every team in their prime, putting them on the current team they are in today's NBA. So we're starting this one out, bringing back Kobe, putting him on the Lakers with today. So he's going to be playing alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Yeah, man, rest in peace to Kobe. But we're going to be doing this today. Uh, very excited to do it. It's a good series. Um, I'm bringing back a lot of the guys that are for 2K19, just doing it on 2K20. So if you guys see the same thumbnails, I'm just going to be using the same thumbnails. No real reason to change that at all. So if, yeah, if you guys have any other video ideas, suggestions, please feel free to leave them like any other legends. Uh, I mean, any video ideas at all, you can obviously leave them in the comments section. But if you have any other legends you do want me to bring back to today's NBA, obviously feel free to let me know down below in the comments section. So let's just hop right into it. Obviously, I cannot use Start Today. You can't use a created roster, like an edited roster, in any way, shape, or form in Start Today. So... We had to obviously start at the beginning of the 2019-2020 season, but honestly, I'm fine with that. Uh, when I went to create the roster, I looked on all-time Lakers. This was the only version of Kobe they had on there. I'm fine with it. I mean, he's a 98 overall. I, I mean, he's 30 years old. At a minimum, I'd say he's probably going to regress to like a 95, maybe. That's not the end of the world. Also, I know this isn't like a terribly challenging rebuild. There, It's not. It's not supposed to be, you know, I'm just starting out easy and I want to do Kobe because, I don't know, tribute, whatever the hell you want to call it. But, yeah, I haven't used Kobe in a rebuild pretty much at all, ever, really. So, pumped to see what we can do with him today. Um, the shooting guard spot is now kind of clear. That was kind of a spot that did need to assess a little bit. I mean, Danny Green's obviously a lights-out shooter and really does help floor space them a lot. But, I mean, Kobe's just on a whole other planet uh, pretty much from the rest of this team. So, yeah, it's a very interesting team right now. I don't plan on making a ton of trades here. Uh, Kyle Kuzma is on this roster. I think eventually, maybe even right now, I'd like to throw him in a trade. I mean, he's a 76 overall. I don't really feel like I need him. I'm not a big Kyle Kuzma fan in the slightest. I mean, I just don't like the dude, to be totally honest with you. I hate just saying it straight up. I just, I really don't like him. So, I think if I'm going to look for a trade right now, um, it'll probably be involving maybe like an Avery Bradley and a Kyle Kuzma. Just looking for a better starting point guard. I do not mind, have, I do not mind having Rondo be my backup point guard whatsoever. Uh, just looking to see what I can get. Like, Devontae Graham is interesting. He's not a free agent. He has one more year after this, Correct. Uh, yeah, he has one more year, so he's definitely an option I am going to definitely consider. Ooh, I, I do like the Derrick Rose option a lot. Yeah, I really like that option. All right, we're going to be move, making this move here for Derrick Rose. Uh, it's Avery Bradley and Kyle Kuzma over to Detroit for Derrick Rose and Dante Hall. Um, not a bad move at all. Obviously, the Derrick Rose rumors to L.A. were a real thing. Could have Kuzma have been included in that? It's a possibility. You're never really going to know. So our rotation is all set. Um, I'm going to have JaVale McGee come off the bench. I'm not going to give – actually, I don't really know. We'll see who I don't give a backup to. Rondo's going to play about – uh, we'll go 16 a night. Uh, 22 here to McGee. Danny Green can play like 12 a night. And then Deion Waiters. We definitely don't need two backup shooting guards. Um, screw it, yeah. We'll just give Casey. I hate Contavious Caldwell Pope, but we'll just give him the ninth and final spot. Um, yeah, I don't really need any of these guys. I'm sorry I'm not going to be playing Caruso. It's You can all shoot me in the comment section if you want. I'm just not going to happen. Uh, so we'll go 37 here to AD. 37 here. 37 here. And then we'll give 35 We'll just give a 34th here to Dwight Howard. So, yeah, that is going to be the rotation here for the first season. Frank Vogel at the helm as our head coach. Derrick Rose, really like that addition. Not a guy I use a lot in my league. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Dwight Howard. I feel like it also has to be kind of – it kind of goes without being said this is a 3 P challenge. I mean, we started out with 396 pluses on the roster. That's going to get you a championship no matter what. So, this is pretty much a 3 P challenge. Again, I don't need the comments. I know this isn't a hard rebuild challenge in the slightest. So, uh, bench looks like this, JaVale McGee, Rajon Rondo, Danny Green, and Contavious Caldwell-Pope. That is the team for now. Is there anybody I could potentially send to the G League? Uh, I'll send Taylor Horton Tucker, why not, over to the South Bay Lakers. Giannis, um, or is this Kostas? Oh, I just said Giannis. I did not mean to say Giannis. I meant to say Kostas. Um, I'm going to sign him for the remainder of the season. Okay, the roster's full anyways. We're not doing that. I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. Let's start out the three-peat. And we, uh, yeah, we finished this first season with a pretty good record of 71 and 11 here. So LeBron does go on to win MVP, 25 points, eight boards, 11 assists, one and a half steals, pretty much one block. Again, I'm, I'll mention it. It's not a challenge in any way, shape, or form. It's just kind of a fun little what-if video. That's all I'm trying to get at. John ja Morant does win rookie of the year. He's my pick in real life as well. Yusuf Nurkic, six man. Kawhi, defensive player of the year in other in the other LA. Luka Doncic's most improved. Frank Vogel does win coach of the year for us. So... I mean, pretty much goes without saying, we're a one seed here in this Western Conference, best record in the NBA, probably going to have the best stats on the year. Uh, Davis Lutton scoring, LeBron, Kobe, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Derek Rose was really solid as well. Dwight Howard, I mean, 11 and 11, I don't really expect big points from JaVale McGee off the bench, 10 points, 7 boards is really good. Rondo, 5 assists off the bench. I mean, this team is just kind of like perfect, to be honest. Points per game, we were first. Defensively, we were first. 
yeah, I mean, we obviously don't have to do much. I'll make it a little bit more challenging for future ones. Like, I think I'm going to do, like, Vince Carter on the Raptors. I might do, actually, what I did in 2K19 was Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady. If you guys want to see that, please feel free to let me know. I'd love to do it. I think it'd be a really good idea. I did, like, a Larry Bird Celtics one. Like, these aren't really supposed to be hard. If you guys can think of a really bad team, like, I mean, obviously there are a ton that I can think of as well. Like, a really bad team that has, like, a really good legend. Please let me do it. No, I'll do it for my next video. I'd be happy to. Uh, we look take a look at this Jazz team. We got Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell's backcourt, Jordan Clarkson, Bohan Bogdanovich, Rudy Gobert. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much just their team. Really didn't look like they made many moves. Let's see if we can take them on here in the first round and uh, end up beating them. So I imagine we can. I don't really think it's going to be too challenging of a round. I mean, I also really do want to get some gameplay with Kobe. So, I mean, if it arises and it's an opportunity, I'm just going to do it and get it out of the way here in the first, not get it out of the way, but like, you know, just make sure you never know what happens in these Miley. So I'm going to make sure I do get some gameplay here, no matter what, if we do go on and win the championship this year, uh, Dallas here in round number two, uh, I can show you guys the rosters, but again, nothing's probably really changed. Look at Oklahoma city in the West final CP three, uh, SGA. I can't say his name. Ferguson, Gallinari, Adam. Yeah. Not much of their team really changed there. Toronto and Milwaukee over there in the Eastern conference. Look at Toronto being a one seed. We're going on to the NBA Finals. We are taking on the Toronto Raptors. Well, wow, even after Kawhi left, Kyle Lowry, Norman Powell, OG, Ananobi, Pascal Siakam, Marcus Saul, Van Vliet. All right, let's see if we can win here. That would obviously be huge getting a W here in the first year and going on to potentially 3 P. We're here at the Staples Center in L.A. Let's see if we can get it done here. That would be pretty cool and looks like we're going to get that done. I'll see you guys in there. So it's not every day I do get to use Kobe here in a Miley situation. He has 37 points on the night. Classic Kobe, you know, closing out. The NBA Finals, what he pretty much did best. Um, we're going to go up. We're going to get fouled, though. Go to the charity stripe. Take two for Kobe. Yeah, man. I, I don't really like talking about it. I, when I found out, it was not, you know, a good day for me, to say the least. I mean, I'm a diehard Celtics fan, and I think everybody that loves the NBA, you know, even people who don't love the NBA really felt that one outside. So, I mean, obviously, rest in peace to him and his daughter and everybody else who, you know, lost their life in that awful, awful helicopter crash. But let's look at the positive. I mean, he has he's had a great impact on sports in general, not even just basketball. Obviously, one of the best Lakers in franchise history. One of the best, you know, athletes of pretty much the all time. I mean, I would definitely say this generation without a doubt. Okay, we're going to miss that one. <laughs> They're not the best defense. But, yeah, it goes without saying. Uh, that's kind of why I didn't want to start off on this note. So, if you guys are going to get mad that, you know, I didn't exactly make it challenging. I understand that. It, you're, you're obviously entitled to your opinion. But I just kind of wanted to do this one to, for, for both fun. I feel like you guys would kind of want to see it as well. So, that's why I started out. It's just little tidbit if you guys were wondering. So Dwight Howard to the free throw line right now. Let's see if we can hit two with him. He's got 17 points, 11 boards, and one assist on the night. Uh, but yeah, besides these videos, feel free to leave any other video ideas down below in the comment section. I'm obviously open to anything. I would say a decent percentage of my videos, video ideas do come from you guys. So like anything you really want to see, I do read the comments. I promise you I do. Even if I don't end up doing your video, I still do take that comment. I appreciate it. Every single comment I get, no matter if it's hate, love, suggestions, whatever it is, I really, I do take it into consideration for like criticism, whatever it may be, unless you're straight up just telling me to go fuck myself. Then I kind of, you know, I like to look at that a little bit different. Kobe back to the free throw line. Let's see if we can get him 40 on the night. He's got 39 points right now. This one would give him 40 on the night. Let's see if he can hit it. And he does given Kobe 40 on the night. Awesome to see man closing out the NBA finals here. Who's this Terrence Davis we're guarding right now? Let's see if we can get a steal. Okay. That one's not going to happen. Oh, gave me the foul. Well, that's Kobe's fifth. Damn, I got to be careful. I wanted to see if, you know, I could kind of close it out in a fun fashion and go home and dunk it, but couldn't do that. AD's got 22-10 on the night. Not bad at all. Uh, okay, trying to deny ball there. Didn't really end up working out. Kobe, is this, I don't even, I think this guy's name is Terrence Davis. I'm, I could be very, very wrong. Rondé Hollis Jefferson, baby. Nothing but net. Absolute cash. I'm not a Rondé Hollis Jefferson guy. I think two of my, like, most, like, useless players in the league are Rondé Hollis Jefferson and um, Contavious Caldwell Pope. I have a strong disliking for both of them. I don't really have a big reason for it, to be totally honest. I just don't really like them. LeBron, that would have been clutch. All right, AD with the board. I'm going to use LeBron now a little bit. Uh, again, not a guy I use a lot here. So, huh, looks cool, 23 and 24. I, I would, The things I would do if we got to see, like, a Kobe versus LeBron NBA Finals, that just would have been, like, the coolest thing. And, I, of course, it was the Cavs and the Magic in, like, I think it was 2009 Eastern Conference Finals, which would have let us see Kobe versus Braun, which I think everybody going back to it probably would have preferred because, I mean, I think, what, the Lakers beat the Magic in six or five? I think it was five. I think they actually closed them out on the Orlando's court, which, I mean, it sucks, but I would have much rather. But, I mean, LeBron obviously didn't have a very good – wow, what a move by whoever that little white guy is. That was impressive. All right, final possession here. No matter what, uh, I am going to try to go to Kobe a little bit. Let's just see what we can do here. All right, in the corner. Can I get a pick here? AD, give me a pick. Let me end it on a good note. 
Kobe, we're going to go right up to the rack and I get it in one. I will see you guys with the finals MVP. So we do go on to win the finals in five. Finals MVP is going to go to Kobe. Love to see it. 31 and a half points, five and a half boards, six assists, two steals, half a block per game. He's up to a 99 overall. So very, very happy with how this is going, obviously. It's not going to be too hard, but let's see if we can three-peat. I guess the three-peat is the challenge. No matter how good your team is, three-peating is not always the easiest thing. Uh, so Owen Masters, Frank Vogel is not going anywhere. Jason Kidd's more than serviceable, and we're all set everywhere else. So sign a new assistant GM. Let's head up to the NBA draft now. Um, I don't really feel like I need to, you know, take anybody in this year's draft. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We'll, we'll pick at 30. Let's see who's here. I don't really, you know, draft guys this late in the draft a lot, so... We'll see what prospects are here. Wiseman did end up going number one overall. Uh, the number one prospect is Alexei. P I don't know who that is. Screw it. I'll take him. Seven foot out of Serbia. We're in number 53. It's probably because the Lakers have so many goddamn jerseys retired. He's a 73 overall, though. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to know who it is. I have no idea. So Davis declines. McGee declines. Rondo declines. Uh, I'm obviously in the market to bring Anthony Davis back. That's kind of, you know, our big offseason thing that we got to do here. Kostas, I'll give the qualifying to Devontae Cook. Not going to happen, man. I'm sorry. I wouldn't mind bringing Kostas back. He got a championship before his brother, I guess. That's kind of sad. Uh, Anthony Davis is obviously our number one priority. Maxed out contract, player option, no trade clause. Hopefully, yeah, we're his number one offer there. So other than that, um, Deion Waiters didn't even play for us. I am just going to let him go. Anthony Davis is back. I'm going to let JaVale McGee and pretty much everybody else go. Uh, I am in the market for a new starting center. Uh, I don't think we're going to have go ahead and have bird rights on Dwight Howard. I mean, I just checked. I don't think we did. Yeah, only on Deion Waiters. So, I mean, centers I can afford is... Pretty slim here. Not a, not, a lot, not a lot to pick from here. So I think I might actually go ahead and re-sign Deion Waiters then. I might actually give him a decent chunk of change because what I like to do here is then go out and try to, like, you know, match that with another contract. The only place a problem with that is it does get a little bit sticky because eventually, like, his value is so low and if I can't get anything for him, he only ends up matching with other really bad contracts, not even guys that are good. Um, so other than that, could maybe look to move Danny Green to trade along with Deion Waiters. Let's see what we got at that center spot. Um, guys I'd be interested in, Rudy Gobert is definitely on that list. Uh, if I throw you Danny Green along with Deion Waiters, uh, the value is obviously not there, and we don't really have a ton of picks, but we do have a couple young guys here. I would give you our guy we just drafted here, and this guy, whatever his name is, and then how about, uh, I'll give you another first, and a second. Will you take this? They're not going to do that. Do I have any other young players here? I'll give you Quinn Cook. They can't even afford that. Okay. Um... Still searching. Um, it's obviously not an easy process. I'll, give me the unicorn. I'll take Chris Dobbs Porzingis pretty much any day of the week. Uh, Dion Waiters. I'll give you this. Our guy we just drafted too. Um, yeah, cannot pronounce his name to save my life, but uh, I'm pretty much just giving him everything. I don't think they're gonna probably even take this. How about if I give you Quinn Cook? Can you even afford that? They can. They're still not gonna take it. Damn. All right, might have to be a little more choosy in the center department. Hassan Whiteside is not a bad center at all. Um, really rebounded a lot on his career after you know had a little bit of a downfall. Um, I'll still give you this young guy. I don't really think he's going to do Okay, they can't even afford that. Um, they don't really even value him that high either. Two firsts. I'll give you two seconds as well if you want them. God damn. All right. Um, maybe it's not going to be that easy. Matres Harrell, three and a half stars. Um, give you Danny Green. They value him a lot. I'll give you Dion Waiters. And I'll just throw this really young guy we have here. Please tell me. Oh, my God. Of course you can't afford him. First round pick. Oh, my God. If this doesn't go through, I'll cut and then... Okay, I'm going to cut. I'll find a trade. I'll be back. All right, so we did just go ahead and make that trade for Steven Adams. Hopefully, I showed you as it. Um, I'll just show you what the just happened. Uh, transaction report. It was Danny Green, Deion Waiters, and this guy we just drafted straight up for Steven Adams. So, Steven Adams is going to be our new center. Kind of like that. Not a guy that needs his ball and the ball in his hands a lot. We also still are going to have Derrick Rose on this team. Uh, I'm also very happy to get Derrick Rose a championship. Didn't even really mention that. So, let's see where we're at right now. Um, Quinn Cook, I'm fine with him being my backup point guard. You see, I am going to probably trade Talon Horton Tucker and Alex Caruso. I mean, I don't want to... You know what? Actually, maybe I'll move Caruso back to point guard just because I'm going to get shot and I'm going to get murdered in the comment section. He goes down to a 75 overall, but I'll let Alex Caruso be my backup point guard and I'll trade Quinn Cook and Talon Horton Tucker um, and Contavious called. Actually, no, I'll keep KCP. Actually, no, I'll throw them in trades and try to get better guys. So, yeah, we'll do that because Kobe's not going to have a backup because he's a 99 overall. So, Talon Horton Tucker and Quinn Cook are now going to get me a backup... Yeah, we'll just see what we have. I mean, small forward, power forward, or center really doesn't matter. We'll work it in. So, Quinn Cook, Taylor Horton Tucker. Let's see what the offers are here. Uh, Taylor Horton Tucker has gone up to a 76 overall. Daniel Gafford, Robert Williams, Semi Ojale, Kiziak Paula, Malik Monk. Again, I don't really need that spot, though. It's a good position. Um, Lucas Samanich, Josh Okogie, Zach Collins. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Robert Williams. We're also going to pick up Semi Ojale, who could be my backup small forward. He's a really solid defensive piece. Um, yeah, you know, let's do that. We're going to we're going to let Semi Ojale ride out. KCP and Marquise Morris are going to get traded for a different backup power forward because I know that Morris is going to regress, and I just don't like KCP in general. So let's look at the power forward market. Uh, a really valuable first round pick. There's no way. Okay, it's an Indiana first round pick in Ursan Ilyasova. That's not a bad move. I just don't love Ursan Ilyasova being 33 years old. Kelly Olynyk in a valuable first round pick. I like that. Kelly Olynyk's going to go down to that backup power forward spot. Really do like that. So down to Kelly Olynyk. He's going to go up to an 82 overall, actually. That is nine, guys. I'll see you guys at the start of the second year of the rotation. Rotation is all done here for the second season. Derek Rose, Kobe Bryant still going to be our backcourt. LeBron, AD, and then the new addition at center here in Steven Adams. Bench did get a little bit better, in my opinion. Kelly Olynyk, Robert Williams, Semi Ojale, and then Alex Caruso. So I'll let him be here. I know I saw you hype beasts in the comment section thinks he's the next, yeah, whatever it may be. So that is the team. Obviously looking to three, or excuse me, repeat now, and I'll see you guys at the end of the second season. Season number two awards are here, 69 and 13 on the year for us. You know, my favorite record. Giannis out here winning MVP. I believe that's his second. James Wiseman, Rookie of the Year, ended up in Detroit. DeMarcus Cousins, sixth man in Miami. Kawhi, even a player of the year. John Morant, most improved. And Frank Vogel does win coach of the year for the second straight year. So obviously a one seed once again. League standings on the year, yeah. 18 games better than the second seeded Dallas Mavericks. Not a math guy, it's probably wrong. Player stats in the year, Kobe led us in scoring, then LeBron, AD, Derrick Rose up to 18 points. I might roll with him for the rest of this video. Something important, though, Derrick Rose and Steven Adams are both free agents next year, so that does concern me just a little bit. Uh, or excuse me, this offseason, not next year. Rebounds went to Steven Adams, and assists was LeBron James. Team stats in the year, points per game, we were first. Defensively, also first, giving us the best differential. We got the Houston Rockets here in round number one. Russell Westbrook, James Harden. Insane. Ben McElmore, Robert Covington, Isaiah Hartenstein, Hartenstein, whatever the hell it is. It's an interesting team. Um, I don't love it. I think they're backwards pretty much their whole team. But then again, I mean, that's better than a lot of teams have. So we are up 3-0 on them, though. And we do go on to close them out in a sweeping fashion in four games. On to the Western Conference semifinals. We got the Memphis Grizzlies here. John Morant, Dylan Brooks, Justice Winslow, Jaron Jackson, Jonas Valanciunas, Brandon Clark. That's a tough decision though. they're going to have to figure out. I mean, do you just let Jonas Valanciunas go play Jaron Jackson at the center spot and let Brandon Clark run the power forward spot or vice versa? I don't know how tall either one of them are, 6'8 um, and 6'11. I mean, Jaron Jackson Jr. definitely could play the power forward, or excuse me, the center spot. But I know he can also shoot the ball, so you might like him at power forward a little better. But... Whatever it may be, they definitely need to figure out those two because they definitely both have really bright futures. But nonetheless, my goal here is to obviously beat them, so hopefully we can get that done. We are up 2-1 right now in the series. 2-2, two, two, they're coming back a little bit. Up 3-2, and we are going to win in seven games. That was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. New Orleans Pelicans here. 80s old team, Lonzo's old team, Ingram's old team, Josh Hart if he's still on this team's old team. Josh Hart's still here. Yeah, he might be looking for some revenge. Uh, this is a very deep team. It's a very good team as well. Really solid young nucleus, except for me and Drew Holiday and Derek Favors. But other than that, it's a really solid squad. I'm looking to beat them right now. Zion's obviously not an easy matchup no matter what, especially here in 2K. But we do go on to sweep them. The Hawks actually went on to sweep the Heat, so we got a fun matchup right now. Trey Young, Kevin Herter, obviously the new Splash Bros, I guess. Trey Young's obviously there. I mean, Kevin Herter's an unbelievable shooter, don't get me wrong, but he's never going to be like what Klay Thompson is to the Warriors. Like, it's just not going to happen. DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Andre Drummond. I don't know how they ended up with Andre Drummond, but they have Clint Capella off their bench. I mean, just why? You only need one of them. But let's see if we can get it done here. Start the repeat. We're up 3-0, and we're going to end up sweeping them as well. LeBron James does go on to win finals MVP. So the repeat is done. We're looking for the three-peat. Hopefully that can happen. Let's head into this final offseason right now. Up to staff signing. Make sure our staff is still all good. Do want to bring back Frank Vogel on a pretty big deal. Um, and then who... Was our assistant coach totally forgetting? Once I see his name. Oh, it's Jason Kidd. That's who it is. Bring him back and then head scout. I mean, I don't really need a scout, but Oscar Fleming and then our trainer is still on A. So that's per who was tentative? Jason Kidd's tentative. All right. I'll just take Trent Peterson. I don't know why you're tentative. All right. Whatever. I don't really care. Maybe he wants a head coaching gig somewhere. I don't blame him after winning back to back championships. Up to the draft uh, with 30th pick again. I don't need it. It's well to swap it for seconds. You know, I don't think we're really going to be making many trades, maybe except for the bench if we make anything at all. So up to team player options now. Robert Williams going to be bringing him back. Steven Adams, Derek Rose, both guys I would like to bring back as well. Um, getting them both a championship. Oh, well, Derek Rose won one the first year. We're getting Steven Adams one. It's obviously pretty cool. So, yeah, got a couple free agents. Steven Adams, 155 million bucks is a lot of money. Alex Crusoe, I'll just give him the money. I don't really care. And then I also want to make sure. Oh, I don't have bird rights on Derek Rose. Well, that sucks. Um, yeah, a new challenge has come our way as we are unable to sign Derrick Rose. 
that's um that sucks. So I'm just gonna renounce the rights on him. There's no way he's he's gonna be able to come back. So uh, same with these guys right here. That really sucks. I really wanted to get Derrick Rose a third championship, but it's not me moving on from him. Uh, if I know I didn't have bird rights on him, I probably would have or traded him. I mean, I did already get him a championship. So I think Kelly Olynyk will probably be involved in any deal. That's why I'm giving him 100 million bucks. Uh, I also would not mind bringing back Semi Ojale, a really solid defensive piece off the bench for us. So we're gonna get them all back. Um, I do need a starting. Uh, Excuse me, I do need a starting point guard, so I believe Kelly Olenek will probably be in any trade. Maybe I can just go ahead and straight up trade for um, Derrick Rose. I mean, he doesn't have any offers, which kind of sucks. Damn, I, w I would love to get Derrick Rose, but I just don't know if it's going to happen. So we'll look for a new point guard. It's more than okay uh, with me. As much as I'd love to let Caruso start, it's probably not going to happen. So Kelly Olenek will probably be involved in any sort of trade. I don't need anybody amazing, like mid to low 80 overall is really all I'm looking for. Chris Paul is a fun storyline. He is three and a half stars, so that might be a little tough. We're acquiring $16 million more than we're allowed to. I mean, yeah, that's just going to be too much money. It's unfortunate. I would love to come in here and get Chris Paul a ring, but it's just probably not going to happen. Kyle Lowry is also another option. He is 35 years old, though. I don't love that. Um, Eric Bledsoe, Markel Fultz, free agent, though. Van Vliet, Rubio, Devontae Graham. All right, maybe I'll start looking at some guys maybe a little bit higher. Kyle Lowry is not a bad option. All He's just 35 years old. He'll probably regress like an 83 uh, I mean, also, I mean, Chris Paul's 36, but he's also two overall or one overall higher. But I also want to get Chris Paul a ring. That's kind of why I was doing that. Um, DeJounte Murray, not a bad option whatsoever. Uh, Spurs require more money. That sucks. Uh, how about Jamal Murray? Um, let's see what we got here. Kelly Olenek, three million bucks more. I would hate to do it, but I'll give you Semi Ojale as well. And I'll also throw you, I have some picks now. I don't know if this is going to go through. Damn. Yeah, they're not going to do that. Ah, uh, brother. Brother, brother, brother. I mean, if I did trade finder for Jamal Murray, Steven Adams and Kelly Olenek, yeah, that's just too much, I would say. I mean, Brogdon's not a bad option. Seriously, that's your trade offer for Malcolm Brogdon? That's, that's fucking crazy that LeBron was even like a possibility brought up there. I'm thinking more Kelly Olenek than, yeah, uh, they can't even afford that. So I'm going to try to, you know... Put them over the line with picks. Oh, they agree to that. Malcolm Brogdon, welcome to the team. All right, cool. That's all set now. Um, gonna have to go ahead and just sign a backup power forward, and we're all set. Obviously, it would have been cool to get Derrick Rose a third ring, but I mean, I'm not really gonna stress about it too much. We'll sign Nicole Melly or Nico Melly, whatever the hell you want to call him. Uh, Kelly Lennon, unfortunately, is gone, but guy can stress the floor either way. So we're all set, and I will see you guys at the start of the third and final year. Rotation is good here for the third and final season. Malcolm Brogdon, the only new addition in the starting lineup. Kobe, LeBron, Anthony Davis, Steven Adams still here as well. Bench got a little bit worse probably, but I'm okay with it. Robert Williams, Nicole Melli, Semi Ojale, and obviously the GOAT is still here, Alex Caruso. So we're all set looking to three-peat. And I'll catch you guys at the end of the third and final year. And what a way to end it. Kobe Bryant wins MVP award, the MVP award. Grammar's tough. At the end of the third and final year, 31 points for him, four and a half boards, eight assists, one and a half steals, one block, 71 and 11. Very happy to see it. Cade Cunningham, rookie of the year, ended up in Orlando. William Floyd, who? Dude, that just looks like, like that is the definition right there of somebody that comments under like a new little uzi song like this shit trash like that's that's just what i picture like that right there is what i picture or like that like sixth grader that thinks he's all that like playing a middle school pickup game and just such a hardo and just what like he would wear a shooting sleeve like that in like a middle school pickup <laughs> you know what i'm done with that Kawhi leonard is in washington wins defensive player of the year james wiseman most improved frank vogel clean sweep on the coach of the year award so Standings wise, we're obviously the one seed. Um, Hawks got 61 wins, though. That's not too bad. Player stats Kobe, LeBron, AD. Brogdon is really solid, 17 points, 11 assists. Uh, Robert Williams, Adams. A little bit in decrease in scoring, but I mean, Malcolm Brogdon is an. Actually, him and Derrick Rose are probably pretty similar. Brogdon led us an assist, though. Steel, or, I mean, do steals, meant do rebounds, was Adams. Team stats on the year. Points per game, we were third. Defensively, we were first. Still give us far and away the best ever round. So we got the Clippers here in the first round. Schroeder, George, Otto. Wow, they really. Re in, or, reinvented their team after Kawhi Leonard uh his departure I'm assuming he you know left I don't I, he was in free agency I'm not assuming he probably got traded so uh we do go on to sweep them though in the first round on to the next round we are taking on oh give me Phoenix uh Memphis took us to seven last year that's why I get worried about them John Moran Dylan Brooks Ben Macklemore Jaron Jackson Jr. Valanciunas Bull Bull is here now I don't know how other teams get Bowl Bowl to develop so well. I have never been able to figure out how to do that, and it's just never going to work for me. Uh, this year, though, we do go on to beat them in five games. On to the Western Conference Finals, taking on the San Antonio Spurs. 
DeJounte Murray. I think it's DeJounte. I don't think it's Deontay. I think it's DeJounte Murray. I don't know. I could be wrong. Anthony Edwards, DeMar DeRozan, Janelle Gallinari. Yeah, they reinvented their team as well. Uh, kept a lot of old guys, but really made some really solid pickups. We are up 3-0, though, and we do go on to sweep them. On to the NBA Finals, taking on Kyrie and KD here. Kyrie, Levert, KD, Tyrion Prince, Jared Allen, Dinwiddie, DeAndre Jordan. Really doesn't look like they changed their team that much. I mean, obviously, KD and Kyrie being healthy is huge. Um, I'm going to try to go ahead and get some more gameplay because why not? Fuck it, I really want to anyways. So, win it on our home floor. Um, get Kobe, I believe this, this would be his, well, let's see. He won five five before this, I believe. And then six, this would be Kobe's eighth ring. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Um, it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a shootout too. I'll hop in wine. I'll see you guys in there. Trying to see if Kobe can do what Kobe does best and be clutch as all hell. Uh, obviously want to make sure the starters are in. LeBron's only got 13 points. Now, I don't know why. This is like the second time I've hopped in game, and, you know, he only has like 13 points. Anthony Davis just going to – that was like the biggest brick, and that wasn't even a bad release. I don't even think – that was a backcourt. That was a backcourt. Kyrie, going to miss that one. I don't know what's going on right now. A whole lot of weird shit right now. Kobe, I need you to be clutch right now. 24 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists. All right, come on. AD, give me a good screen on Kyrie here. Kobe going to go down. Mid-range jumper. Oh, he's going to miss that one. That's tough. Tough bid. Uh, this one's not even close to over, though. Okay. I didn't know Spencer didn't really get screen releases when LeBron's covering him. But, yeah, it's cool. I don't know why Alex Caruso is checking in right now. Oh, it's probably because, okay. I don't love is that. Is that Tony Snell? Steven Adams going to go up and get fouled. I wanted to one there. Is that Tony Snell? I think that is Tony Snell. All right. Well, I'll, I'll keep Caruso when I'd rather have an actual point guard in. Uh, Adam's going to go the free throw around right now, though. Obviously needs to hit both of these, you know, kind of keep us in this one. Do want to get Kobe his eighth ring. First free throw for Adams is up, and it is going to be good, giving him his eighth point of the night. Caruso has checked in the game now. A couple goats in here right now. Adams, of course he misses the next one. <laughs> next one. <laughs> it's a good release. I just don't. Oh, my God. What the hell? Like, what is that? Like, what is that? I guess that's what you get when you put Alex Caruso in. I'm not worried. I still think we're going to win the series pretty much without any problems. But, yeah, I don't love it. Um... LeBron, just go up to the rack and do what you do best. All right, he's going to go the free throw line. I mean, 13 points in, is not really acceptable from LeBron James right now. Kobe would never. All right, let's go the free throw line. Can't wait to read the comments out of that one. First one from the charity stripe is good for LeBron. Eight-point game. Hopefully get this up to a seven-point game. Second one is up, and I don't know why I keep breaking all the second free throws. I'm releasing it at the exact same time. All right, I don't know. what They're, they're making some weird passes here. Wow, LeBron on Kyrie, that's just kind of funny. That was kind of my bad. I also kind of got screamed. All right. I'm sorry, Alex Crusoe, you're not going to be touching the basketball. I'm here to, you know, try to win a championship. Love you, buddy, but... Oh, I did not mean to. I meant to go to Anthony Davis. On Tarian Prince, this is such a match, mismatch. AD in the post is going to get the easy land. 34 points on the night for him. All right. <sighs> it's probably not over. It's pretty close, though. Um, I'd say we definitely have to stop him. They cannot score another basket in this game if we even want a little bit of a chance. So... I think I'm going to try to abuse the Anthony Davis mismatch. I mean, Tarian Prince is on him. That's obviously a huge mismatch. KD on LeBron. Yeah, this one's over. So he has the finals MVP. Very happy that was not game seven. Hopefully we can close him out here. And we do. Kobe gets his eighth. I believe my math could be wrong. Does go on to win finals MVP. Obviously love to see it. So, I, again, I'll mention it. I only donate this one as kind of like a fun one to start out on. Obviously, you know... We're not going to do like something like this every time. Also, not every team looks like the Lakers in the NBA, so that really won't be an issue. So if you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like down below. It would mean a lot to me. If you guys are new, please make sure to subscribe. Trying to you know get my subs up, get my views up a little bit. If you guys have any friends that would be interested, please feel free to let them know as well. Uh, any other video ideas just in general, feel free to leave down below in the comment section as well. If you guys do not, make sure to go follow me on Twitter. Link for merch is also the first link in the description. Um, I've had a bunch of people shoot me DMs telling me they've ordered it. It's really good looking. I have one person who already actually has it, so uh, if they can comment, the person who actually already has it, if you can comment, I forget your name, I'm sorry, if you can comment under this video and let everybody know how good it looks, I would appreciate it a lot, but other than that, hopefully you guys did enjoy, I'll see you guys all tomorrow on the next one.